Have you heard of pet CPR? I sure have, mm-hmm. yeah. Really? So, that, so this is becoming a more popular thing. Certain fire departments are actually training the firemen to, to do CPR, and pretty similar to what we do on humans with a few different caveats. And I don't know about you, but I want to learn pet CPR. So to help us is joining us today to teach the steps you should know when doing pet CPR is pet CPR instructor and founder of Sunny Dog Inc., Denise Fleck. Welcome. Come on up, Denise. We want to see pet CPR done right here. So, Denise, what is is your dog's name? Resuscitation Annie, it's... (laughs) We call him Jerry, but I like to call him Doggy because I don't like to have him have a real name when he's in distress. Yeah. (laughs) Resuscitation Rufus. And the important thing about pet CPR is, just like with humans, um, it happens when we're, you know, at home and often after hours, but we don't have pet paramedics that come rushing to our houses. Mm -hmm. So pet parents need to know what to do to keep the dog alive until you can get to your veterinarian. So you first want to place your hand on the side of the chest and feel for any rise and fall. Is the dog or cat breathing? If not, you need to open the airway by pulling back on the chin and extending this throat area, giving him every possible chance to breathe on his own. If there's still no ventilation, you extend the tongue just past the canine teeth, seal off the mouth, and here's where it gets different. Instead of mouth to mouth, we do mouth to snout. And give two slow little breaths. Should we let Dr. Orden try this out? So I'm going mouth to snout. Absolutely. All right, you ready, Poochie? There we go. Look at that. You did did great chest rise there. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That's what you're looking for. Four pies up. That's the same concept as human CPR. Look through chest rise. Exactly. We give two slow, full breaths, and then we check for a pulse. And the best place on our dogs and cats is the femoral artery inside the upper thigh right here to feel for that heartbeat. If there's no heartbeat, we now want to begin chest compressions. And what you do is carefully bend the front leg back until the elbow hits the chest, and that's our target zone to begin our compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Nice. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so, so on. So is it ten to two? Is that the ratio? You it's use? actually five, ten, or fifteen, depending on the size of the dog. Mm. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Denise. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Good job. <laughs> Well, CPR for pets and humans is so similar, and it's one last plea. Just get out there, learn CPR. You can save a life, even that of your dog.